Harry's wife, the baby bump pictures. Those of you who may have been pregnant and are watching my work, do feel free to share with us when you were last pregnant in the comments section. How many moons ago was it? How many years ago might it be? Because Harry's wife was last purportedly pregnant in 2021. But that doesn't stop her from bringing up the past. Oh no siree. Of course, there remains speculation that she was never pregnant and the pregnancies were faked and that the children were born of surrogates. There is compelling evidence produced by various people as that to be the case. And I have explained elsewhere in parts passim that a narcissist may well indeed fake a pregnancy. You undoubtedly will have your own views as to whether she was pregnant and has given birth to the children, whether she wasn't pregnant and somebody else carried them for her, or whether there was no surrogacy and the children have just been brought in from elsewhere. It's up to you to make your determinations there. This channel is all about narcissism. And Harry's wife's narcissism is such that she has to ensure that she is repeatedly and often in the news to allow her to continue to assert control over the viewership, the readership, draw fuel from their responses to continue to manage her facade. She cannot just enjoy life quietly and away from the public eye. And in essence, she would shrivel and die were that the case. Instead, what she has to be able to do is ensure that she remains prominent. That even when she's not actually doing something, she is mentioned in the press in some shape or form. The PR dollars ensure all of that. This, of course, creates a form of nauseating ever-presence. That everywhere you look, she's there. And, of course, one of the chief offenders of this is none other than Hello! magazine. That's at it again with an article that was created by Shahnaz Shaid with the headline All of Harry's Wife's Beautiful Baby Bump Photos Taken by Prince Harry. Why do we need this information? Why do we know? Why do we need to know about private photographs taken by him of her appertaining to an event at least two years ago? The reason being, she has to do this to pursue the prime aims. And hello becomes the conduit by which it is done. The article explains, since relocating to the States, Prince Harry and Harry's wife have been able to enjoy a quieter life away from the spotlight. <laughs> right, they're never away from the fucking spotlight. However, back in November, the couple released a new docu-series called Harry and Harry's Wife, where they gave royal watchers a first-hand glimpse into their personal lives. During the intimate series, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex released never-before-seen images from their album featuring milestone moments, including the first days of their romance, their royal wedding, and when they became parents. Thus, Harry's wife is triangulating people with those pictures. They released incredible images of Harry's wife looking absolutely beautiful. Undoubtedly, that's been stipulated in the press release or press instructions sent to Hello. When she was pregnant with her children, Prince Archie III and Princess Lilibet I. Here, we take a look back at some of the candid pictures Harry has taken of his wife when pregnant. Back in 2018, so we're bringing up an event from five years ago, in order to assert control in the now, the then mum-to-be, who was pregnant with their son Archie, was seen proudly cradling her blossoming baby bump, the sweet snap taken during their final day in New Zealand. The photo was taken as the couple headed on the Redwoods tree walk, a 700 metre long walkway of suspension bridges between 117 year old redwood trees. 
The Duke and Duchess, no doubt, wanted to document the moment during their first major overseas tour together as it began with the announcement that they were expecting their first child. In the next, in the, in the Netflix documentary, at one point we saw Harry's wife posing beneath a cherry blossom at their home in Windsor. Pregnant with Archie, again bringing up something from five years ago, it appeared that the Duchess enjoyed a stroll with her dogs in grounds near Frogmore Cottage. Later on, Harry's wife was seen looking ethereal in a pretty white floaty dress while walking on the beach following their move to California. No doubt, days before the couple welcomed their second daughter, Archie. Just beautiful. That just shows the quality of this dross that they actually wrote in that sentence, not doubt, rather than no doubt, days before they, they couple, should have been the couple, welcomed their second daughter, Archie. So the sentence that was written here was, not doubt, days before they couple welcomed their second daughter, Archie, just beautiful. That just shows the utter shite that is concocted here. And the desperation. So, events from over five years ago being brought up again. And of course, you see, Harry's wife does this naturally to pursue the prime aims. But then all she does, because her narcissism is thinking about the moment only, it creates a collateral consequence. Which means that undoubtedly many of you in the comments will start talking about the fact that she never was pregnant, that the children were born through a surrogate. And therefore, all it does is kick the hornet's nest with regard to speculation about the fact that she never actually gave birth to those children. And of course, in the interest of balance, let us show some other pictures from her pregnancy so that you can make your own minds up about what was actually going on. Here comes a selection for you. <laughs> 